in the gold room, Tesla, that's not Hey guys, what's up and welcome back to my channel. Thank you so much for tuning in to today's video. Today's video is going to be a good one because I am finally doing another makeup tutorial. It's been a minute. I used to do a lot of tutorials on my channel, so I'm really excited to be bringing you this blue realness on my eyes right now. I also really wanted to use a palette, and I know you guys have been wanting to see a tutorial with this palette. It is the Jaclyn Hill Morphe palette. I love this palette. I raved about it in one of my favorites videos after I first got it, and I've used it a ton. But funny, I've never done a makeup tutorial with it yet. So I wanted to use my go-tos in the crease, but then I also wanted to do a pop of color and make it really fun because it is still summer. I love the warm neutrals, of course, but these brighter shades were just so stunning and so pigmented. So I really hope you enjoy this look. I haven't done a blue look like this on my channel ever, so if you want to see how I got this look, then please keep watching. And of course, before we get started, don't forget to hit that subscribe button and that bell notification so you'll get a notification on your phone. When I upload a video, it would mean so much to me. And give the video a thumbs up if you like makeup tutorials. And if you have this Jaclyn Hill palette, let me know how you're liking it because I truly love it so much. So without further ado, let's go ahead and get started on today's look. Get started on this makeup tutorial. I'm so excited. The first thing I'm going to be using is this Derma E Illuminating Face Oil with Rose Hip and Cranberry. I love this oil. It's so hydrating and it feels so nice on the skin and it adds an extra radiance boost. To seal in that moisture, I'm going to spritz my face with the Vitamin Wake Up Mist by Pixi. This smells like oranges and it feels so nice. And to hydrate my under eye area, I'm going in with the Hydra Lift by Pure Cosmetics and massaging that all on my orbital bone and kind of around my temples. You guys are going to think I'm nuts, but I'm going in with my strobe cream. I literally can't live without this. I don't care how much other stuff I hydrate with, I can't live without my strobe cream. So I'm applying this to all the high points on my face and massaging it in, and this is the peach light one so it's a little bit of a peachy glow to the skin. To create that nice barrier between my skin and my makeup I'm using the Bye Bye Pores Primer by It Cosmetics and massaging that in with my fingertips. For my foundation I'm going with the Urban Decay All Nighter and I really like this foundation. I actually got to try it for free through Octoly and I wear the shade 0.5. It's absolutely perfect does oxidize quite a bit, so beware if you do want to try it. So I would suggest just trying it out before you purchase it. And then it does apply really well with a beauty blender. It's a full coverage, and it's kind of, I find it's more of a semi-matte finish. It's not totally matte. However, it is oil-free if you are oily. For my concealer to cover up any areas I want a little more coverage, I'm using the It Cosmetics Bye Bye Under Eye and Light. And to blend all of this out, I am clearly using my damn beauty blender. It's my favorite way to apply my foundation and concealer. And then I'm going to prime my eyelids. I'm using the MAC Painterly Paint Pot so my eyeshadow lasts all day long. And then I always like to set it with just a translucent powder to get rid of any tacky residue. For my transition color, I'm going into the Jeffree Star Cosmetics Beauty Killer Palette and I'm blending the shade Courtney into my crease. This is a statement eye. I'm taking a similar shade to really build up the crease and this is in the shade Silk cream from the Jaclyn Hill palette and I'm buffing that back and forth and then I'm going to go in with the shade next to it called MFEO and buffing that in as well. It's going to create a really nice gradient so then the other colors just look really blended. Something a little bit darker. This is the shade Butter on a tapered blending brush. This is slightly smaller. I'm going to focus this deeper in my crease and I'm doing like circular blending back and forth motions so everything looks really buffed out. Taking the shade Hunts on this same blending brush, I'm focusing this in my crease to warm things up, and this probably has to be my favorite color in the whole palette. It just adds the most beautiful orangey warmth to any look. For more dimension and smokiness, I'm taking the shade Jax, and I'm focusing this on the outer V and kind of halfway into the crease. You're going to see I'm like packing and then blending, packing and blending. It's a beautiful burgundy shade, and it just deepens it up ever so slightly without going in with like a dark brown or a black. And to do this, I'm using a MAC 217. The star of the show, this is the shade Twerk from the palette. This shade is so gorgeous. It's like a royal blue purple. And I'm taking my MAC 242 flat shader brush and I'm packing this all over my lid. And I'm really taking my time with it. I'm kind of dragging it and then packing. This is probably one of the best metallics I've ever worked with. There's literally no fallout and it's just so pigmented. It's crazy. And I'm just going in with my blending brush from before, no additional product, and buffing out the edges. And then I decided to add a little Fix Plus and and apply a little more of that twerk color and this took it to the next level you guys. 
For under eye concealer, I'm using the Bye Bye Under Eyes by It Cosmetics in the shade Light, and I am just sharpening up that outer corner too, and then highlighting my under eyes. I'm going to blend it out with my Damp Beauty Blender, no surprise there, and it's really important you kind of press this into the skin so then you aren't creating any lines. To set the concealer so we don't crease, I am taking the Bye Bye Pores Illumination by It Cosmetics, and I really like this powder. It's kind of a pressed translucent with like a reflect in it, so it's super beautiful on the skin and radiant. And then I'm taking the shade Twerk on a flat definer brush and lining my lower lash line. With the pencil brush, I'm going to diffuse that color, and I'm also taking a little bit of the shade Jax to smoke things out. You can totally leave your eyes like this, but I decided to pop on a little bit of an eyeliner. This is the shade Cobalt by Makeup Geek. And then I'm going to curl my lashes. I always pulse them to really get that curl happening because otherwise they do not stay. And then I'm going to give my lashes a coat of mascara. This is the Better Than Sex Waterproof by Too Faced. You guys are about to witness my favorite cheek combination. It's extra. I admit it. I'm saying that from the start but I'm taking MAC Golden Bronzer first and buffing that on my cheekbones, my hairline, my jawline, just bronzing up the skin. I really like mixing that one with my number seven Caramel Bronzer. This one is just a little bit warmer, but it's the same tone, and I just focus this on my cheekbones. To contour, I'm taking my MAC Harmony Blush. I ditched this for a while, but I'm back to it. I love it, and to carve that out, I am now taking some Dermablend Setting Powder. I really like this one because it's non-drying. I really like using it to really sharpen up that contour, and I leave it on for literally a second, and then I take a fluffy brush and I just buff it off. I've been super into peachy blushes lately, and this is the perfect shade by Makeup Forever. It's one of their new artist face colors in the shade B308. Here I'm just taking a powder brush and blending everything together. For a highlighter, I'm using the shade Fuego by Dose of Colors and Desi and Katie. This is a beautiful highlighter. It works for a lot of different skin tones and applying that to the tops of my cheekbones. I'm going to mix in a little bit of Blinded by the Light by Too Faced just to lighten things up a tad. I didn't want it super gold for this look. I'm gonna pop on some false lashes, add some bottom lash mascara, and then do a little inner corner highlight with the shade Beam from the palette. I have to shout out this brush that I'm using. It's perfect for the inner corners. It's the M507 by Morphe. Taking a little bit of MAC Fix Plus, I'm going to mist this all over my face, and the glycerin in this makes everything more skin-like, less heavy, less powdery. It's not a setting spray. It's not gonna prolong the wear time. Lined and filled in my lips with the Urban Decay Naked Lip Pencil, and then applied the Too Faced Melted Latex Liquefied Lipstick in the shade Peekaboo. So here is the final look. Give the video a thumbs up if you liked it. Thank you so much for watching, and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.